Okay guys, here's another what if scenario. Um, if you're getting a little too close to the, the edge of the trail or you miss a corner accidentally and you find yourself right at the edge and there's a significant drop off, Um, we're going to go over what you do in this situation. So first of all, like getting unstuck, you usually want to signal over a friend. Okay, so you can see I saw that I had a problem arising and I came to a complete stop before I went too far over the edge. That's probably the most important part is that you recognize that you're about to be in a bad situation and you stop before you get in that situation. So now we have the option to get back onto the trail if we do things right. Uh, what we're gonna do is pack some snow down underneath this uphill ski so the sled sits a little flatter, pack a trail out that's flat um, back onto the current existing trail. If you do have the snow safety pack, that'd be a perfect opportunity to take out the shovel and cut that little path into the hillside. Finally, we're gonna take the rear end of the track and we're gonna lift it up and just kind of angle it over so it's a more straight path back onto the trail. All these things should make sure we get on safely and back onto packed ground and have a great day. So guys, if we didn't take the precautions that I'm explaining, the weight of this snowmobile would eventually just bring me right down this hill into all these trees and obstructions that are gonna do some damage to yourself and the machine. Okay guys, so now that we have the snowmobile corrected its direction back towards the trail, we also have it flattened out and have a nice flat path in front of us. I'm gonna have my friend here grab that ski standing out of the way of course and giving it a little tug and keeping the thing on track to make sure we get safely back onto the trail. This is gonna be kind of a slower process. We're not just gonna gun it and get back on right away. We wanna make sure we do this safely incorrectly. What I'm going to do as the rider is keep my weight on this side of the snowmobile. You can see I have both feet on this running board. That's going to ensure that the snowmobile has less tendency to roll back downhill as I'm making my way back onto the groom trail. Okay guys, so you can see that we took that really slow just in case the sled had a tendency to work its way back downhill into another bad situation. We would have enough time to stop, recorrect, and keep getting it back in the direction that we wanted. <laughs> 